Hey everyone, Steven Asalanga here, and today I've got a new haircutting tutorial for you guys. Uh, this is the Ali Sykes haircut. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, as I started this already, is I'm going to create a guideline here in the bottom, which is going to be our length, but I'm point cutting into it, so it's not just a straight, harsh line. Alright, so use your, the tip of your shears and just kind of chop into it to create the baseline instead of cutting it straight across like this. Now that we've got the back established as far as the length, what we're going to do is connect this in through the front, but now going up on somewhat of an angle like this. And you can create this angle by pointing your elbow, all right? This will dictate where. So the more your elbow points up to the ceiling or the sky, that means you're going to have more of an angle cutting up. So let's continue to do this cutting upwards and we're going to probably bring this to about uh, I'd say just about the tip of his nose here and then if we always if we want to make it shorter we can so it should look something like this all right and what we're going to do is the same exact thing on the other side all right now let's create our first layer which is going to be about uh, right here in the top back of the head and let's bring it straight up and we're going to cut uh, this much off so that the length, uh, this is about a, I don't know, I'd say about a four or so inch length. Let's continue now to bring this guide up to this one point here. And we're going to continue this all the way throughout the back of the head. All right, now we're working towards the lower part of the head here in the, in the middle. So we've got the top done. And now what we're going to do is basically follow the same pattern, but we are going to leave it a little bit longer throughout the very, very bottom, okay? So what we're doing is cutting a little bit of a shorter to longer angle, and how you do that is just when you comb it out, you'll be able to see where your guide finishes, and then you're just gonna extend your fingers out a little bit more, okay? So let's finish this on the middle of the back of the head, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to get the uh, bottom part. Now the bottom part here, down at the very, very nape, what you're going to do is, again, you're going to pull it straight out from the head, and there's the guide right there, That's there's what needs to be cut, and you cut it off and let this all fall into the bottom. So you're leaving the base nice and, and you know, thick down here, uh, but also you're moving the weight so it has uh, a nice texture to it. And uh, you'll be able to see where the guide is. You don't want to cut too low because you're going to be cutting length and you're going to be cutting holes into it. So you just want to follow where you're where you see the hair popping out, that's basically what you need to cut off because the hair is telling you, hey, this needs to be cut. So, get rid of it. All right, now we're gonna work into the top here. We already cut our guide from before. So what we're gonna do is we're going to comb it straight up from the head and just point cut into it. Point cut the longer hairs off so you're leaving it more of a kind of a texturized edge. It's not straight across, all right? You're gonna follow this pattern all the way so you get the very front, and one quick tip if you haven't learned this already is when you're you're not closing as you're going in, you're closing the shears as you pull away this way, so you're not cutting your fingers. Okay, so we're gonna see this till we get to the very very front, and you'll be able to see the guide uh, of where you have to stop cutting because there won't be any more hair to cut when you get to the front. All right, now we're ready for the sides. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our guide from the top in the corner here. And we're going to then just work it in through the bottom here, okay? This way you're creating some layers and you're also keeping uh, the shape here throughout the bottom. You don't want to cut too much off the, at all off the bottom. Then you're going to lose that solid line and you're going to create some uh, holes throughout the bottom. So there's the guide right there. Whatever is going to fall out is what you don't need to cut. We're going to continue this working our way. There's the length right there working our way towards the front and there see the hair just dropped out so we're going to finish this on this side and then continue the same thing on the other side all right now the, now the perimeter shape is pretty much done what i want to do now is trim is dry this and then go in and really really texturize this and add a lot more shape and uh texture to this whole haircut all right here's how it looks dry and uh as you see it does resemble um ollie's hair already but we have to really soften this up so we can we can add a little more texture to this whole thing. 
And uh, this is good for not only his, but any hairstyle when you see it's too heavy in front. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take our, you know, if you have a razor like this, this is a feather razor, that's great. And we're really just going to start to remove a lot of this excess weight, okay? And you do that by just laying the razor on top of the hair, and you just start sliding like this. So you're, scra you're literally scraping off excess bulk from the hair. This is a great, great way to remove weight and to add texture. All right, if you want to shorten it, then you take it piece by piece like this, and then you remove the weight uh, and length at the same time like this, okay? So let's continue to do this throughout the front. There you can see I'm removing length, all right? And now it's starting to see how it's resembling it a little bit more now. So I'm removing length as well as weight. So there's the guide, and this works best. I mean, I like doing this on dry hair because you can see uh, the end result right there in front of you. All right, so we're just following the guide from where we last cut, and then you're just going to scrape down with the razor. Okay, this is awesome for creating that kind of more PC texturized look uh, just to se add some separation. All right, and if there's any little pieces like that, there, just take them and scrape it off like that. So that's finished as far as this goes right here. Um, I'm going to continue to do more. And the way I'm going to do that is now I'm going to raise this up and then continue just to remove more weight throughout the whole thing. Uh, and you just want to go throughout the whole head and just really just scrape off some of the excess weight. You want to add some texture to it. Uh, you can bring this up this way. This is, this is really, really good for creating that softness uh, and also for removing the weight at the same time. Now I'm going to utilize my thinning shear and I'm just going to cut over the sections now on top of the hair shaft and this is just going to remove uh, even more weight but it's going to also texturize it uh, probably a lot more than the razor could but it really re removes bulk look at that see so continue to do this throughout the whole head and even on the top here you just want to you want to really add a lot of texture to this you want to remove excess weight and you just you need to be aggressive with these types of things um, but I want to show you this dry so you can see the result of what this is doing, okay? So again, you see, I'm lifting the hair and just don't be afraid. You're gonna see lots of hair like this come out. Just don't be afraid and, and don't, you know, freak out when you see that. But look what that's doing, see? It's creating that kind of softer uh, look that he has, all right? And it allows it to kind of uh, blend in with everything else. You're also, this is great for removing harsh lines as well. So, continue this. And uh, pretty much, you can see the style is, is pretty much coming right into shape. All right, so now I'm just going to use a little bit of hair cream. Uh, again, I can't really, you know, I don't endorse, or this product isn't sponsoring me, but any hair cream will do. A hair cream is like a conditioner, all right? And, you know, it doesn't leave the hair too wet, doesn't leave it too dry, but it does make it a little more lived in. So you do want to make sure you get this through your hands really, really well. Um, but this is the kind of thing where the haircut does speak for itself and you just want to work this in just to kind of tame down any bit of you know flyaways or anything that you might want to make it a little more kind of lived in okay just work the product through uh, and this this definitely is good for kind of taming it down and making it look maybe like a day or two old okay so I think this came out really really awesome and uh, you know I hope you guys enjoyed this and he's got he's had a variety of different hairstyles um, but I think this one uh, is probably one more recent one I've been seeing. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video for Oliver Sykes. Uh, I always get questions on, you know, what do I tell my hairstylist? Look, find pictures of that person you want your hair like. Bring it into your stylist. Show this video. Um, you know, the best thing is for us as stylists to see pictures so we can visualize it and see it on you. That's that's really the easiest thing. So. You know, I, I wish I can be there for you. A lot of people say, oh, can you cut the, I wish you can cut my hair. I wish no one can cut hair like you or no one can cut hair like this picture or whatever. Just bring the pictures in and it's hit or miss. You know, not every hairstyle is going to be perfect. I'm not perfect, but, um, you know, it's the best thing I can do is bring in pictures of the celebrities or the people you want your hair to look like or this video. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.